so hello everybody and in this video i will show you how to set up sublime text for competitive coding i have been using sublime text for like a year now and i will show you what works best for me and you guys can customize it to your own liking further so let's just go to view first go to layout go to columns 4 i will have my code here my input here my output here and my error file here uh, but right now the uh, code f uh, code column is very small, so I want to maximize it and drag it. Uh, seems like a hassle, so let's just go to view, go to groups, go to max columns too. Now I have a very large coding area. I can further drag this to the right. Uh, so after this, you can open your files. Let's just go to open file here. Go to code. Open the code file right here you can go here and go file open file let's just open them all then drag error to the bottom most drag output here you don't need this error file if you debug using c out but if you debug using c error in the standard error output you should use this error file so what you see right now is my template uh, this uh, this type of setup is sufficient enough to have you started if you are if you are starting right now this setup this setup should be simple enough so let's just go over my template it's a very basic template you guys don't need to copy mine you guys can find thousands of templates online and the very important thing right here is these three lines these three lines make sure that uh, you are reading std in from the input file and printing to the output file so make sure you guys add these three lines to your template f reopen input.txt it will uh, make sure that std in uh, picks up your input from the input.txt file and std out write just, uh, writes it out to the output.txt file so uh, if that is clear let me show you how you can build up templates and snippets to save time if i if you see here i can just press tab and it loads up my uh, template if i do eps debug this will give me my debugging template i debug using c error let me show you right here so yeah. Uh, yeah i debug using c error so that's why i have the error file right here so let's just clean this up so now i'll show you how you can build up your own snippets uh, and customize them so let's just go to tools go to developer go to new snippet this will be the default snippet syntax uh, you guys don't need to uh, modify anything right here just modify these lines here so you can customize sublime snippets in many ways and i will show you some examples so let's just go uh, hello let's just skip right here uh, and i will show you what this means uh, hello youtube welcome so let's just skip this for now and then i can add these here uh, I will explain what this means in a second. And let's just go. Yeah. Uh, what this means is these are markers. So when you insert your snippet, your cursor will first of all land on the uh, uh, land on the first marker. Then if you press tab, it will go to the second marker and then if you press uh, tab once again this will be the last marker so the indexing starts from zero oh, sorry in the indexing starts from one so one will be your first marker second will be your uh, second marker and zero will be the end marker and it will mark the end of your snippet so uh, for example if i want to uh, do a for loop let's do a for loop right here for long long i is equal to I want to keep a marker here. I is less than I want to keep another marker right here. This will be my in marker. And then I want to do plus plus i. 
and then I want to keep my end marker right here. I think this should be a standard for output file. So now if you have done this, now you need to output, uh, sorry, now you need to set the tab trigger. Like if I type epsilon, it, it triggers my template. So now you need to set your custom tab trigger for this. Uh, let's set up my tab trigger. Let's just say loop. And now you can set up the scope right here. Uh, what the scope means is, for example, if you are working on a HTML file, you do not want to trigger this snippet. So you can customize the scope right here. I want to limit this to C++, C++ files. Uh, just to C++ right here. Let's save this. Uh, type it loop. It will not automatically save it using Sublime Snippet. This is the extension for Sublime Snippets. Let's just go to code and also make sure that there are no spaces here. There are spaces between these uh, tabs. It will not work because it will also consider the space into the. Uh, it will also consider the space in the tab trigger, and that's not what you want. So make sure there are no spaces right here. So let's just go to loop. Let's tab right here. As you can see, my first marker is here, so it will it is showing me here. And you guys can see this little right here on the bottom field one of three what this means is there are three fields one two three in my snippet and i'm currently editing field one so i can press like zero here and i am still in field one so now if i press tab i skip to the next field let's press nine here and if i press tab i'm now out of the snippet because i'm now at the end point and here is my end point so I think this tutorial is enough for how to use sublime snippets and now uh, now the thing is you don't want to use sublime snippets for like a single line for example you don't want to use vector uh, you don't want to use vector int for like vi right here this will be really dumb because then you'll have to write like uh, 50 to 100 lines of snippets just for single liners so what you can do for this is you guys can uh, you guys can write auto completion file i will show you what it is later i don't want to do this go to no and go to tools go to preferences go to browse packages go to user if you guys don't have a sublime completion file you can build uh, you can make a new one Go to sublime solutions open so you can save a file with extension sublime uh, colon and uh, completions so the scope is source.c++ file i also told you in the snippet what it means this will also this will only trigger the auto completion in the c++ files and now you go to completions you can go to the trigger uh, VBL, what this means is vector long long. You can also use your uh, markers right here. And you guys, you show for out of this, you guys can have your multiple uh, triggers right here. For example, if I go to VBL and press tab, it loads up my auto completion. So, this also makes sure that you are typing really fast because if you guys like want to type a vector of pair of pair of ends or stuff like that. And that is really time consuming so this saves you a lot of time so i think that is it for auto completions and snippets now comes to the main point how do you execute a c++ file here how do you execute a c++ file here so if you guys uh, this will work let's go one two three four I will just make a demo program right here. Okay. Uh, so this this is just the demo program. So if you are using Sublime Text for the first time, uh, you will go to Tools. You will go to Build System. This is the C++ single file this is the built-in uh, this is the built-in build system uh, but I don't recommend to use this uh, uh, I want to recommend that you write your own build system so you guys can 
use this using sublime build go to browse packages if you guys don't have a sublime build file uh, make a sublime build file uh, you can name it anything i have named it cpp sublime build what this basically does is it types these commands into the it types these commands into the cmd and executes them so what this command basically does is g++ uh, calls the compiler dEpsilon. this is my flag so i define a local flag epsilon and i also recommend you use your own local flag right here and then call that local local flag right here so what this does is it tells there is a flag called epsilon and if my compiler knows there is a flag called epsilon it will only then execute these lines otherwise on online judges like code jam or stuff like that it will not execute these lines so it will only read from std in std out on the online compilers and read in from input and output files on my local uh, on my local pc i think that is computer uh, that is clear so here is the wall uh, this is a flag to display warnings here is the file these are the sublime uh, path values so this gives us the name of the file that we're currently working on this is the file base name without extension so what i'm doing right here is i'm just compiling the file and saving it as its base name i am compiling code.cpp and saving it as code.exe that's basically and that's basically it now you can also have variants right here for example this is the variant number one what this does is it is its name is run it compiles the file like above up to this point and then we have end end here what this end means is if the file is successfully compiled i then run the file this command basically runs the file this is really basic if you guys work on cmd and this this won't be hard for you you guys can also add another variant like just add comma here add another variant uh, let's just say here let's just add another variant run without errors like i will remove this flag here so now if you go to let's just say this for now if i go to code.cpp and if i press uh, for first time you should press Control shift b and then this is the cpp file the build system that i i am using this is the cpp the normal compile system this is the variant that compiles and runs this is the variant that runs and it runs without error so it is it is not using the wall flag so i will show you how it works let's just keep a variable here x that i don't use if i go to control shift b this will just compile it so let's just build this build using this and as as you can see it shows me a, a warning that x is unused because i'm using the wall flag in my compile build so if you guys press control plus b it will execute the same build system if you want to change you should press control shift b and now uh, again let's run using cpp run and you will see the output file change right here as you can see the output file changed because now it, it on, not only compiled but is able to also run the program so now i want to run using a third system run without errors so let's just build using that control shift b and you can still see the warning here because i'm using the wall flag control shift b run without errors uh, sorry without that should have been done without warnings whatever and as you can see again compiled but you don't see the warning right here because this time i'm not using the wall flag in my this build system i think that's enough and let's just save this and now what i wanna do next is show you uh what i want to show you next i think i want to show you how to uh, skip from an infinite loop because if you guys see this if i run into an infinite loop right here let's just say for i is equal to one i is less than ten I minus minus 
uh, or just for just do nothing here yeah. but this will do is it will run my file into an infinite loop and if you run into infinite loop there is not uh, not a great way to skip out of that in sublime text I will show you how you can uh, make sure you don't run into infinite loops mm, let's just press ctrl shift b here and run using cpp run As you can see now it ran into an infinite loop so you guys cannot help but control it using task manager and you will see the code running right here so here it is it is using 12 percent of my cpu this is not good so you guys want to close that you can close it from a task manager but i have a shortcut for that i press ctrl alt p and this will cancel the build so how you guys can configure this let's just go to project and go to preferences and go to key bindings go to key binding and type this little command right here the key is control plus alt plus p and command is cancel build this will cancel the build for you so i think this is enough and you guys can like customize it to your own liking there are many extensions out there like uh, a lump coding i think is the name of the extension that people use to pass test cases you guys can have multiple test cases and it will automatically compare them for you i don't use that i think i don't need that right now uh, but i think that is it and hope you guys like the video if you guys did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe